On this episode of Kemp Outside, we take a look at the Coleman Road Trip Party Propane Grill. Let's get it open and check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Well, today we are going to do a gear review on the Coleman Road Trip Party Grill. It is a one burner propane grill that fits in this carry sack. Let's get it on the table, get it set up, and see how it does. Okay guys, we got it on the table here. Time to take it out of the sack. All right, so it does come with uh, an instruction manual with apparently some notes somebody wrote on it. I don't know. And then here's basically the burner. So it's a typical Coleman propane burner. And then you attach the legs pretty easily. They just slot in and snap into place. That's where you hook up a one pound propane tank or you can connect a hose to a big barbecue grill, which is what we're going to do is a hose for a 20 pound uh, barbecue grill tank. And then this thing can be set up a number of ways. The first way is to just set it up as a single burner propane stove. You can put pots on that. Uh, I think the burner is an eight thousand BTU burner but that's not how we're going to use it for this video for this video we're going to use the grill plate so here's the grill plate it's just a simple stamp steel grill plate so it'll be easy to clean It just goes right on top like that. So we'll get a hose hooked up and then we'll be able to grill our steaks tonight. Okay, now that I've got the gas hooked up, you can see the hose back there actually. I wanna show you a cool feature of this. So you don't need to have a lighter or a match to actually light this burner. Basically all you do is you turn it so that it's flowing gas. I don't know if you can hear that. And then you just push it in and it's lit. I don't know if you can see the flame there, but it is definitely burning. And then you have pretty good flame control with this knob. Not the best though. Definitely not as good as my Camp Chef Everest. The real question is, how well does it grill steak? We're gonna find out. All right, now that we've got the potatoes on the Coleman camp stove, it's time to put the steaks on. Let's see if we can get four big steaks on that grill. Let's just say that grill isn't quite large enough, but we'll make it work. So as you can see, we definitely couldn't do four steaks on this. We switched over to two. I'm gonna cook them two at a time, and that should be okay. This grill has a really hot center, and out to the sides are not hot at all. So exactly what I expected from a single burner stove, but if you're only cooking for one or two people, it's not that bad. Okay, so as you can see, we were interrupted by a major rainstorm when grilling last night. That kind of sucked, but the steaks were delicious. 
let's continue on with our review of this Coleman grill. So one of the things that I really, really like about this Coleman grill is that the bowl itself comes off really easy. And I just washed it because it was full of steak goo and, you know, just nastiness from, from the, from the drippings. And so it's really easy to just spin this off and then, you know, wash it in hot soapy water. You can wash the, the, uh, rack as well as the grill grate. So all of it is really easy to clean. So I really, really like that. Here's what I don't like. What I don't like is that because of the center burner and the fact that it's a round burner, the center of this grill is really hot and the outside of the grill is not. So if you're grilling one or two things, one or two hamburgers, uh, four or five hot dogs, one or two steaks, one or two chops, something like that, you're gonna be fine because you can kind of rotate things around and you know minimize what's in the hot spot at any given time. But if you're trying to do four steaks like I was trying to do last night, that didn't work at all. I had to pull two steaks off and then do, do them two at a time. And that's okay. And most of the time, probably when I'm using this thing, it's just gonna be my wife and I. Uh, if I have a, a bigger party, then I will either bring a, a cast iron uh, skillet to put on uh, one of the camp stoves, or I'll bring my camp chef stove and, and grill box. So if I need bigger space, I've got it. But if I'm just doing it for me or me and someone else, this is a nice little handy thing to have. Let me go ahead and show you uh, how we take the legs off and how we put it back together and and uh, and secure it. So here's what the stove looks like once the, the bowl is removed and the legs just come in these little tabs. So I'll just do this when I lift it up and pull those tabs and shake it, the legs come right out. You can lay the legs inside the bowl to pack this up but since I'm gonna keep using this, I'm gonna put it back together. Also gonna, gonna drain the water out of it because it rains so much. There we go, that's locked into place. Rack goes inside. So if you wanted to, you could just lay the legs down in there. Put the grill plate on top. And then I'm gonna throw the cover on it to keep it clean. And that's it. So I guess the ultimate question is, would I recommend it? And the answer to that is, it depends. It depends on what you're cooking and how many people you're cooking for, right? Like all other camping gear, sometimes gear is great for one person and terrible for another. So it really all depends on what you are gonna do. For me, I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this thing. No, it is definitely not perfect. Uh, number one, the, the hot spot in the center and the cool on the sides is just a, function of the design of that grill. So I know I'm gonna to have to move things around to manage cooking. And so, you know, you can't overload it. You can't have too much on there. So if I'm cooking for just me, or if I'm cooking for me and one other person, maybe two other people, you know, no problem. But any more than that, I'm gonna to go to some of my other uh, grilling or cooking options. That said, I love that it's easy to clean. That is probably its biggest benefit is you can spin off that bowl, you can pull off that grill plate and just wash it with some warm soapy water, rinse it off and it's ready to go again. You can easily assemble it. I like how you can break it down, except for the fact that when you do break it down and it's in its sack, it's a little bulky and a little odd shaped. So it doesn't kind of fit in a square like, like most stoves or, or, or grills or that kind of thing. So it's a little odd, but it does come in a sack. So that's nice. I think we've got water coming off the trees, guys. It's not raining on me again, thank God. But we'll keep going. Other than that, guys, I think 
it's a really, really good product. So I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. So if you are going to use it the same way that I use it, I think you'll be happy with it. I think you should go ahead and get it. If you're cooking for a lot more people uh, or you don't want the uh, single burner aspect or you don't want the hot spot or those kinds of things, then you're definitely going to want to get something else. And the beautiful thing is, is there are no shortage of stoves and grills out there for camping and outdoor use so there's there's lots of options guys i'm going to put an affiliate link below where you can pick up one of these if you think it's for you uh an affiliate link is where i get a little commission on the sale it doesn't cost you anything extra but it's a great way to support our channel if you like this content and i would really appreciate it but you can buy it anywhere you can find it online or in a store and guys, if you have used one of these before, I would love to hear your thoughts. So drop something in the comments below, tell me what you think of it, or you can hit me up on my social media at Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter, or my website at KempOutside.com. We exist to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. We wanna help you get you and your kids outside. So if you have any questions about getting outside or outdoor cooking or grilling, drop something in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you as well on that. Guys, thanks for watching Kemp Outside. Be sure to hit that subscribe, that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.